Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, today it's going to be Donald Trump. That's what we're going to talk talk, talk about today and uh, all of his legal troubles. I know it's like every week you can dip back in and there's something new going on. So Donald Trump will just do a full Celtic cross and see how that comes out for him and all his uh, woes. Yeah, so it's going to be all Donald Trump all the time right now. Listen, everything's changing daily with this guy. He's filing ridiculous motions that the judges don't even entertain and almost to the point where the judges are getting a little snarky in their uh, responses to his judges, his uh, uh, Trump's lawyer's ridiculous uh, demands. So um, now I can't get this camera quite right. It seems to be cutting off my head. So let's take a minute to see if I can adjust this and not uh, show you all the equipment. Let me get my shirt straightened out. Okay, that's better. So. Donald Trump, all of his legal woes. I mean, from uh, he doesn't even know Stormy Daniels, he says. Um, uh, <laughs> the documents case in Florida, it looks like the only place that he's going to get some relief. You know, I better write this down because even though they're all well known, I'll forget what I was mentioning. So we'll do Stormy, the docs in Florida. So the document case in Florida. And then, um, oh, so then we've got the uh, Georgia, the Georgia fraud, and uh, the district attorney of uh, Manhattan. What is that? Oh, that's the Stormy. That's the uh, Manhattan. And uh, the uh, insurrection is in D.C., so I don't remember the name of that judge, but we'll say insurrection. And that's uh, D.C., Georgia, D.C., Florida, Manhattan. And I know there's more, but that's enough. So full Celtic cross on those subjects. But, you know, before we do that, let's have just a moment of course of meditation. All of Trump's woes in one reading. Let's see how that goes. So Donald Trump from Florida to Georgia, D.C. to Manhattan. What can the cards let us know? It's going to be full Celtic to cross, which is 10 cards. But I'm going to do six to begin with and then the other four at the end. So six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and I probably should let you know it's quiet here right now at my place, but I'm having some work done, and so workers could start uh, get, you know, revving up some equipment anytime. And uh, plus, I've got the windows open here because there's a lot of uh, paint smell in the house, and uh, so that way I don't pass out while I'm doing this reading. So, the signifier card for Donald Trump and all of his woes in at least four different places. Uh, what does the signifier card say for him? Princess of Wands. So he has been greatly reduced. His wands are actions, plans, forward movement. This is the things that he wants to do or things that are coming at him. But this is him. He has been reduced to the uh, value of a princess. He's still royal, but he's been reduced to the value of a princess as far as his plans goes. So the problem is that he's losing, uh, all his actions are losing their value. The challenge to that then is the magician is of course because that's who he had been he had been the one who could conjure up anything with with the lies uh, that he cobbled together but uh, the, so that's the challenge to his weakening um, command of actions the basis of all of this then is the moon card of course the basis of the moon card it's the secrets being revealed everything's coming out people are finally starting to see the general public and of course the courts already know um, that the secrets are coming out it's just a matter of validating them and then assigning judgment. The past of this then is the Knight of Swords 
and the knight of swords swords are actions plans forward movement the past is and the knight is going to fight for his you know what he thinks is right but that's in the past for donald trump he is down to just street fighting uh in the sky of this is death wow the best you can hope for in his case literally and figuratively is death death though is the end of a cycle if donald trump were to drop dead everything is over for him and then the mess is left for his family to pick up the pieces um, but uh, it's actually telling us that also this is the end of a cycle. So this is literally and figuratively this, this reading. And then the final outcome for all of this is the King of Swords. King of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. He is still going to go out as uh, feeling like he is the king of his own truth. This demented man has convinced himself that all of these, his ideas, his complaints are true. So... Four more cards to finish this Celtic cross on uh, Donald Trump. Uh, I hope that this kind of gives us an idea towards punishments or some timing uh, that's going to come out here. Because that's what we're all waiting for. We're waiting for this to be over and we're waiting to know what is the punishment going to be. So the very uh, essence of that question then is right here. And this is the chariot. Well, the, the answer is that things are coming on fast. Okay. Everything is going to start coming together at a, a clipped pace. The uh, environment that that's in, though, is uh, the Ace, uh, the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is wanting things to be the way they were. Of course, is he's going to be longing for when he was able to uh, perpetuate his grips without any interference. Um, the hopes and the fears of all of that is the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is just uh, again Swords of Truth justice rules and law and the three of swords is just disappointment you know it's a broken heart and then the um so that's the best he could hope for and then the final outcome of everything for him in all of these cases well two cards coming out so i'm going to use one and then the other one is kind of a clarifier for everything so the uh, queen of swords again he is even if he goes to jail it's going to be i am uh should not have been prosecuted and then to further clarify that we have the three of coins celebrations so yeah so these are the kids i think finally celebrating he's put away he's out of there uh he's not a fly uh, in their ointment anymore they may have to suffer some consequences but essentially they'll be done with daddy and they can figure out what they want to do so that's what we've got here for donald trump not a good end Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so this is the newest edition. This is uh, the second time I've purchased from this group. Uh, and uh, the, these cards are called Revival Art Tarot Second Edition. And uh, they're from Taracho uh, Studios, which you can see right here. And they come to me, for, I think it's from Russia via the Netherlands. But uh, they're a lot of money. and um, But they're beautiful cards, and you'll see. So they come in a very typical little cardboard box. No big deal there at all. Um, then the um, instruction booklet, again, is not uh, anything to write home about. It's just a typical little instruction booklet. The one good thing is that it is easily uh, read. And uh, in the uh, regular, uh, in the lower arcana cards, they've got an extra card in each uh, suit. So you know, you've got cups, wands, swords, and uh, I can never think of the forward suit off the top of my head. Uh, pentacles. Uh, but so you, they go all the way to the Ten of, of Swords, for instance. The next one then should be a page, but here we have a Princess of Swords. And then after the Princess of Swords, you still get the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. So you have one extra card for each of those four suits. So instead of 78, uh, 79, uh, 80, 81, 82 cards total in the pack. So that's interesting. So if that princess um, confused you, you could just take those four cards out and use them for some special occasion or never use them at all, or put them in there. And uh, this gives you an idea of how to divine the extra card. Uh, so very interesting. Then the cards themselves, they're really good stock. Uh, once you get them broken in, and what I mean by that is, you know, when they come off uh, production, they're really pressed together and there's no air between the cards and you can't hardly get between them. So it takes a little bit of shuffling and, and getting them uh, some air between the cards uh, before they're usable, really, and, uh, and not sticking to each other. And then the back of them is beautiful, and I haven't discovered anything particularly unusual about the back, um, except maybe until this very minute. Let's see. If you have the cards 
this way, you'll notice that there's a very small little rose right here. So if you see that small rose here up at the right hand corner, then you know this card is going to be upright as it should. However, if this card was inverted, that small little rose becomes two roses. Okay, so if you see it, two roses up here rather than one, then you know that card is going to be inverted. So that's the example. Now, I like knowing that. I don't know. It just gives you a little edge uh, when you're dealing the cards. And now I can straighten them out and not have to turn it over. I know that this, this is uh, inverted and this is straight. Now, to look at this art is amazing. And each one of these is a work of art that's referenced in the guidebook. For instance, uh, if I look at this uh, Fool, number one, of the Major Arcana, and it tells me that the Fool uh, is, in fact, the name of that piece of art is called A Jester by Philippe Mercier. And, um, and then it gives me the uh, divination for the card, uh, beginnings, uh, possibilities, pleasure, etc. The next card, The Magician, if you were to see that one, that is a work of art called The Astronomer by uh, Candlelight. The Astronomer by Candlelight, and it's by, I guess it's going to be Garrett Du. So uh, my foreign pronunciations aren't very good, but I do give it a try. So the cards themselves, you can see they go right to the edge of the card. They're beautiful pieces of art. And Thought has gone into choosing these cards for the um, uh, position they stand for. The one thing uh, that's not uh, evidence, for instance, um, they're not always um, clear that, for instance, a Two of Pentacles is a Two of Pentacles. It might not have Two Pentacles on the card to tell you that. So they're a little um, interesting there. You should kind of look through the cards and understand what each one stands for first. But, I mean, look at them. They are absolutely beautiful. And it always feels to me like uh, intention has gone into making the selections of these actual pieces of art before uh, they uh, turn them into uh, tarot cards. And I like that. And I think you like them, too.